Hello everyone. This video walks through completing packet tracer assignment 9.2.1.4, Configuring Static NAT. This packet tracer assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Routing and Switching Essentials version 6 curriculum. Now in this particular lab we configure static NAT, uh, which is just static NAT is only mapping one private address to one public address. So you can kind of think about it if you have your own private network. So everything behind this router here on this side of the router is private, okay? So I'm going to draw a little box. You don't have to do that. Um, draw a little box around this part. This is our private network okay so I'm gonna write that in there this is our private or our inside okay this is not available to the public now this side of the router is the public side so anything to the left of the router is the public side okay so I'm gonna put that over here or the outside Okay, so again, that is to the left side of the router, so everybody else. Now, the inside, the private, you may be running your own networking scheme, so you don't want that publicized to the outside world. For instance, if you're a big company like Google, Amazon, all of these places, they have their own private network. Now, to the public, when if you do like... Um, you know, if you are trying to access their web server, there's like an outside public publicly advertised network that everybody else gets to see that you think you're connecting to but really behind the scenes there is a private inside address that we have no knowledge of now you have to set that up on the router that is connected to the private network though to be able to map the private or inside address to the public or outside address okay now with static net we're only doing a one-to-one -one match um, you'd have to do that for every single address or device you had on the private inside. Um, this is not like uh, picking from a list or anything. We will do that with dynamic NAT, um, but this is just a one-to-one -one matchup. Okay, so what we're doing is this server here. It could be oh sorry, it could be like a web server or anything. We have our inside address. We want to map that to our outside address. Now, in your directions, they tell you if you try to ping that from let's say this PC here, you could try to ping either the inside or the outside address. It's not going to work uh, because we have not set up any type of mapping yet. It says destination host unreachable. Okay. And we'll let that finish. And then we'll try to ping the other one, which is 64.100.50.1. Still says destination host unreachable. So even though it says reply from, it's not really working okay so it's replying from if you notice the router right here so the router 209.165.128.130 is his address we can ping that successfully okay that is s000 on r1 you see that comes back successful nothing lost or dropped all of them are received hundred percent uh, of the packets were good. That means we can talk to this router right here, but we don't know how to get to the web server. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, first we need to set up a static map on R1. Now, right now they don't have any mappings or anything on R1. We could check that with uh, show um, IP NAT translations. Hit enter. Nothing returned. We don't have anything set up. If we do a show run, we do have. Uh, gigabit 00, zero that's this interface here that's connected to the private or inside network okay we've got an address there in the 172.16.16 .16 network uh, serial 000, zero, zero is this one over here that's the outside part the public part and that is 209.165.128.30 so we can get all the way there we just can't get on the other side okay so let's see how we configure this NAT so we go to configuration mode the command that we're going to do first to translate that inside out side, the inside address to the outside address is IP NAT. Okay. And then you can kind of piece your way through this command if you can remember IP NAT using the question mark. Okay. It says inside, outside, or pool. We're going to do inside. Another question mark. Source. That's our only option, right? 
and then static because we're going to do a static address mapping. Now the next one we want to look at is the inside local IP address. The inside or private address is going to be 172.16.16.1. Okay. The next one we're going to put in there is our outside address. So we want to map this address, okay, these two addresses back and forth as we go across our router. So if a packet's coming in from PC1, it's going to be destined for the outside address. This is the public one, 64.100.50.1. It's going to get to the router, and R1 is going to say, hey, I know who 64.100.50.1 is. That is actually the person at 172.16.16.1, .16 so that's why I need to send it to. Because if you look at server 1, its IP address is really 172.16.16.1. .16 None of this actually has 64.100.50.1 in there. Okay, It's almost like an alias or like a, a, um, a pen name for an author, right? So, you know, J.K. Rollins, you know, writes all the you know, Harry Potter stuff and everything, but, you know, that's not her real name. So, uh, you know, IP, NAT, inside, source, static, okay, you got the, the inside and outside there. You see that gives us 50 points. Now, what we have to do to the router, because that's great, it knows how to map those two back and forth because when server one responds again, once it gets here, it's going to flip that and say, okay, well, you were responding from 172.16.16.1, but before I send it back to PC1, I'm going to make sure that it looks like you're from 64.100.50.1. So it's keeping that inside part private, okay? Now, the R1, though, has to know which side of the router is inside or the, the private, which side of the router is outside or public. So we have to go to both of the interfaces and tell it that. So first, let's go to interface G00. That's the one right here. Okay. And we're going to do um, IP NAT inside. Okay. That tells it everything to the right of R1 is on the inside of my network. Now, this side, remember, this is S00 zero okay so we're going to go into interface s000 and do ip nat outside so that tells it r1 that to the left that's the outside okay you see we get 100 out of 100 here so let's try to see um if everything works let's do our inside address here so ping or sorry, outside address, 64.100.50.1. All right, it's thinking about it, it's trying. First one requ request timed out, and now you see we get a successful reply, right? It's replying from 64.100.50.1. Now, if we try to ping the inside address, 172.16.16.1, you see it says destination host unreachable. So we are, can ping the outside address, but we cannot still ping the inside address. All right. So that's how it's supposed to work. So that concludes configuring static NAT for lab 9.2.1.4.